autumn brings to mind fragrances and notes that spring and summer just don't for me. I want something a bit more earthy, a bit more hearty, a bit more robust. Something that will cut through the crispness of fall mornings or winter chill. And one of those notes that really speaks to me as the autumn advances is tobacco. And here are three tobacco fragrances that you should have in your collection. Now the first one on the list is one that you should be able to find really easily. It is a staple of Rack Stores, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington, one you can find pretty inexpensively on Amazon as well, and is from the house of Calvin Klein. That's right, we're talking about the OG classic CK1 Shock or CK Shock, however you want to call it, yeah, CK1 Shock. And with this, we're going to find top notes of lavender, clementine and then cucumber so you get a little bit of sweetness on the top but really it's that lavender for me it gives a smooth calmness to this fragrance on the heart notes you're going to find cardamom black pepper and black basil for me in the heart it's really that basil that stands out it's very reminiscent of some other basil fragrances that i have in my collection and then on the base you're going to have amberling tobacco patchouli white musk and then cashmerine again is that tobacco on the base that really works and stands out, but it mixes so well with the other fragrances. And is one for me, I get all day performance, but again, I do overspray just a little bit. Next up is a fragrance that is designed to bring out your inner bad boy. And we're talking about Villain from Pete and Pedro. Now this one is an homage to Tom Foy's tobacco vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. I always mess it up how you pronounce it. I love this one so much. It has top notes of coriander, lemon, and nutmeg. So you get that spice and with a little bit of citrus, a little bit of tartness on that opening. Heart notes of aniseed, cinnamon, clove, ginger, honey, and Provencal lavender. For me, I really get the cinnamon and the clove and the ginger, and you get that sweetness of the honey. I feel like that really drowns out the lavender for me and my nose, but that's just me. And then on the base, you have amber, benzoin, frankincense, gaiac wood, oud, sandalwood, tobacco, tonka bean, vanilla, and vetiver. Now, on the base, it is all about tobacco for me, the tobacco, the oud, the tonka bean, and the vanilla. It is it is sweet, it's a smokiness, and this is one that you are going to get, in my opinion, all day performance. I wear this and I'm smelling this all throughout the day, all throughout the night. It is one that definitely exceeded all expectations that I ever had for this fragrance. Now, last on this list, but certainly not least, is a fragrance that is not just a tobacco it's a booziness, it's a sweetness, it's a spiciness that I just keep going back to. And it is Signature Tobacco from Zahara. Now with this one, you're gonna find top notes of Divana, rum, mm, cognac, French lavender, and star anise. So with all of these, you see lavender as a very prominent note when balancing with the tobacco scents. Uh, heart notes of tobacco, Canadian fir balsam, Indonesian oud, pimento leaf, Virginia cedar, and white ginger lily. And then on the base, you're gonna have Ethiopian myrrh, black amber, Australian sandalwood, Ethiopian frankincense, and then May rose. With this one, it's that combination of the tobacco with the booziness of the rum and the cognac on top. And then with that easy, smooth Zahara signature DNA on the base, it is a fragrance that I love pulling out in the fall. It has a sensuality uh, that is just, in my opinion, unmatched. So those are three, count them, three tobacco fragrances that I think you should get your nose on this fall going into winter. <laughs> 